All right, DJ Tech Tools family, this is your boy Hell Negative again. This time I'm coming at you with my Tractor X1 MK2 mapping for Record Box DJ. You'll see at the top I have L located on the left one, but I also have a second X1 MK2 with the letter R on top. Reason for this is we you don't have a way to get pages in Record Box DJ MIDI mapping yet, so we're using this for decks one and two and I'm using the right X1 for decks three and four. Now we'll start from the bottom up. You have normal transport controls, play pause button, Q button, sync button, flux activates slip in Rekordbox DJ, and your four hot cues. Now holding shift and hitting play, we'll do reverse playback. Holding shift and hitting Q, we'll turn on quantize on and off. Holding shift, and hitting sync will activate that as track master and holding shift and hitting the, and holding the flux button will give you slip reverse now the touch strip record box dj does not allow pitch bending yet for mini mapping but instead touch strip normal is going to be deck one needle search holding shift and using the touch strip is deck two needle search and decks three and four on the other x1 mk2 Loop section, I left the same. So turning the knob to increase or decrease your loop size, pressing the button to, look, to activate or deactivate the loop. Browse knob, when you press the browse knob, it's gonna open up browser view. Pressing it again will bring you back to your normal four deck or two deck layout. Left button lo loads track into deck one, right button loads track into deck two. Holding shift, and hitting the left button turns on master tempo for deck one and right button master tempo for deck two. Effects section, same as tractor. Turn on effects processor one, turn on effects processor two for each channel. The buttons are going to be buttons one, two, and three on the effects processor and knobs one, two, and three for the effects processor. Rekordbox DJ does not have a dry wet. So turning the knob all the way to the right and tapping will cycle you through each of your effects, the effects processors to choose which one you want to work with. Pressing the button will increase the beat count on the effects processor. Holding shift and pressing the button will decrease the beat count. That is it for this tractor mapping so far. Uh, we will have more updates coming soon as we dive a little bit deeper into it. You'll see that you have two different mappings in the zip. One mapping is going to be for Tractor X1 MK2, decks 1 and 2. And then the mapping label number 2 will be for decks 3 and 4. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me in the forums, the Bastet, or you can email me at hellnegative at baselinesyndicate.org. Thank you.